Hi everyone. It's um, been quite a few years since I've done an ICAD challenge. So I'm going to try and finish this one this year. So um, shout out to Daisy Yellow Art for hosting. Um, and I'll put a link down below in the description um, to her ICAD challenge link. So I've gessoed the index card and now I'm applying some, I applied some walnut stain, distress oxiding, then frayed burlap and then some mowed lawn now. And peeled paint. Might have got those two mixed up, can't remember. And then I think I wrote, yeah, Broken China there, but I think it was Peacock Feathers. I don't know, can't remember. So then I get my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer and spritz some water on there before I heat set it and continued with the um, prompt, today's prompt, day one. Yeah, a bit late. It should have started on the 1st of June. <laughs> is sapling. So I could have just drawn, painted, whatever, a sapling. But I like to put some humour into my iCADs. So I put a couple of shades of green there. Um, all the products listed, all the products I'm using or have used um, will be listed in a blog post. I'll link down below in the description. And now I'm adding some Naples yellow hue there before I go on with the um, burnt umber acrylic paints. And um, it goes on quite easily over the Distress Oxide inks because they sort of dry um, once set with the water and sprayed to a certain degree. I could have probably um, put some gesso down first which would have made them more defined, vivid. Uh, these are the types of projects that you can just have fun with. Experiment, practice. Yeah, I find that um, I do push myself a bit when it comes to the ICAD challenge, even though I don't care whether it's a work of, art, work of art or not. I just enjoy having fun playing on these little index cards. These are five inches by three inches. You can get larger ones if you prefer that. So I'm using um, the Distress Pen there, marker. I think it's Gathered Twigs. So we have a nice healthy-ish sapling and one that's just not so healthy. Bringing out the um, Micron pens now, just to give it an outline, define it a bit better. And 
not really liking going on over that paint could be still a bit wet very impatient I am bit off camera there sorry just trying to define it a bit more right so I took this unknown stamp the um, speech bubble and cut it out but then I had to reverse it because of the way the little speech thing was pointed I wanted it pointed to the um, healthy sapling so I'm taking a memento tuxedo black marker there and just giving it an outline now I'm working out where to put it it's probably a bit bigger than I wanted but that's okay works out in the end yeah it has to go off the page like that So I'm going to adhere it down with some Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And then I just slice that overhanging piece off and then write the thought from the um, healthy sapling he has issues nearly drew a hand pointing to the um, the poor unhealthy um, the sapling but uh, I just stuffed it up <laughs> alright guys thanks for watching and I'll be back with number two soon bye